Welcome everyone, my name is AB, I run the Watka Leng Chai Productions and today I'm going to be introducing to you guys the most controversial Grand Seiko out there. This isn't clickbait, this is actually the most controversial Grand Seiko in the world. But guys, before I move on with this review, I wanted to thank ExquisiteTimepieces.com for supplying this watch in for review. If you guys are interested in this Grand Seiko or any other Grand Seiko, make sure you check out Exquisite Timepieces. Let them know that you heard about them from this channel and they'll hook you up over there at Exquisite Timepieces. Like you, I couldn't comprehend why I would spend so much money on a quartz watch. Essentially a battery operated watch that is found in many affordable options. I'll just say it now, you already know I'm about to explain why this one is special and you probably already have a hunch that this isn't a normal quartz watch judging by its price point. But I'm gonna tell you now, unless you're an absolute watch geek, this might not appeal to you even after learning why it's special. If you aren't into ticking then this isn't gonna float your boat, but with that being said, stick around and perhaps Grand Seiko will convince you otherwise. If you're into the hobby because you enjoy the fact that mechanical watches are meant to last, then you're in for a treat. Though this isn't mechanical, Grand Seiko created the 9F to be serviceable rather than replaceable. That might not matter to the average consumer, but to watch geeks we like to keep things as untouched as possible. By having a quartz watch that is serviceable, means you have a watch you could keep 100% original from the day it came out of the factory. Now I'm not gonna bore you too much with the technical aspects of the 9F, but I'm gonna give you guys what is important because other people have explained this a little bit better than I could, but in a nutshell, the 9F Quartz is finished to high levels as we expect from the brand and it's all of metal construction. Now as mentioned before, they're designed to be serviced not replaced for longevity and collectability. Now a quartz watch in general relies on a quartz oscillator to regulate timekeeping when electricity hits the quartz it vibrates at a frequency of 32,768 times per second. Now what Grand Seiko does differently is they create their own quartz crystals for 3 months to make sure that they have the most stable crystals in the market. Now to ensure the temperature isn't affecting the timekeeping, Grand Seiko tests each and every crystal to make sure that it doesn't fluctuate depending on the temperature. Now the most innovative part is the thermal compensation system that's developed inside the movement and it measures the temperature inside the watch 540 times per day and then the integrated circuit makes corrections based on any deviations found. Now it's this level of care that makes the 9F so special Grand Seiko gives the same amount of attention to their 9F Quartz as they do with their mechanical watches, which is why Grand Seiko lovers absolutely love the 9F. So now I know what you're thinking. Besides the fact that it is an expensive Quartz, what else makes this watch the most controversial Grand Seiko in the world? Well, it's their design choice. I'd be lying if I said Grand Seiko didn't take inspiration from the Rolex Explorer. Those who say otherwise are in denial. I absolutely love this piece. But to say that it didn't take inspiration from the house of Rolex would be an understatement. Now with that being said, it isn't a 100% copy of the Rolex. Grand Seiko did change a few things like the hands and in this case the dial color to give it a more Grand Seiko-ish aesthetic. Even their limited editions have two-tone colors to their dial that gives it enough differences to give Grand Seiko a pass with this one. Now of course there's no denying, this watch is heavily inspired by the brand, collectors seem to go to Grand Seiko 4 as an alternative. Add to that an expensive quartz, and for those who don't understand the 9F, you have a recipe for the most controversial Grand Seiko ever produced, and that is why this watch didn't get as much love as it usually would, but as I mentioned it has enough differences to make it a little bit different from the Rolex. Now that we have all of that out of the way, let's take a look at the watch itself, whether or not it's worthy. What we have here is an absolutely stunning watch by the brand, housed in a modest 39mm case by 12.9mm, making this the most comfortable sports watch the brand has produced to date. Now typically Grand Seikos are finished with Zuratu polishing which is what we love from the brand, and keep in mind Zuratu is a mirror-like finishing that is so finely done that if you mind your watches being scratched, you might want to be careful while wearing Grand Seiko watches in general. That said, this case is mostly brushed with very light polishing in the angles, 
that makes it a lot sportier so the scratches won't look too bad because this watch isn't like the other Grand Seikos where it's all mirror polished. This one has a lot of brushed surfaces which will actually make it really look good in my opinion when it gets a little bit scratched up. Now when it comes to the Grand Seiko lineup, there are many alternatives to this watch and I would actually categorize this watch as an everyday piece. Even though it is a GMT watch, it's a great grab and go watch when you have quartz watches. It's something you don't have to worry about setting and in my opinion, it makes it really good for an everyday piece. Now having this watch on the wrist, I can confidently say it's one of the most comfortable Grand Seikos I've ever had on the wrist. And if you've been subscribed to the channel, you'll see that I've handled so many Grand Seikos out there that it is actually a big statement when I say this is extremely comfortable and one of the most comfortable Grand Seikos out there. Now in case you didn't notice the text at the 6 o'clock mark or that fourth hand, this watch is a GMT model with a fixed 24 hour bezel and the watch is actually quite simple to operate. Pulling the crown out at the first position you get a jump hour similar to Rolex GMTs making it some of the easiest adjustments when traveling and overall that is actually my favorite aspect when it comes to GMT watches when you're traveling you only have to do that and it's so easy to adjust. So what do I think about this watch? I've already explained why it's an expensive quartz watch and personally I like it and as I've mentioned at first I didn't understand why anybody would spend 3500 to 5000 depending on what type of model it is on a quartz watch and if you're someone who's into mechanical watches if you're someone who isn't a fan of quartz watches even though this is an innovative quartz watch if you're not really into quartz watches, I would still go with their mechanical pieces. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this review. Let us know what you think about the 9F quartz watch and of course the watch itself. Love to hear from you in the comment section below. Also, let me know alternatives to this watch, what you would like me to check out in the future. And again, I wanted to thank Exquisite Time Pieces for supplying this watch. And if you're interested in this watch or any other watch, make sure you hit them up and let them know that you heard about them from this channel. And I promise you they'll hook you up over there at Exquisite Time Pieces. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one.